No, let's do it for real. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. At 11 o'clock. We got 40 seconds. You ready? With the camera. Oh! Can we can we set the clock back? <laughs> 10 seconds. 9 8 Roll camera. 7 6 Roll sound. 5 4 3 2 168 Film Festival is a Christian film festival and you write a script based on a random Bible verse and then once cameras are allowed to roll you get exactly 168 hours which is one week to shoot and edit your short film. No my sons, the report I hear spreading among the Lord's people is not good. If one person sins against another, God may be for the offender. But if anyone sins against the Lord, we will intercede for them. 1 Samuel 2, 24 and 35. I'm a little bit envious because I wish I could be doing what you're doing because you're you're going to be on this amazing adventure and yeah it's going to get hard and yeah you're going to be tempted to give up don't do it don't even think about it Amanda Todd was a Canadian teenager who posted a YouTube video that was really a cry for help and it was a really really like shocking and sad video and a few days later she committed suicide and so the story just kind of like cried out to me like it needed to be told um i think we got the verse on monday night we started brainstorming all of tuesday and i just remember thinking tuesday we were struggling and didn't have anything and we were like oh my gosh we have to actually turn this into April by Wednesday night. So in essence, we had pretty much a day. The pressure kind of mounted, yeah, I gotta say. The first night I didn't sleep so well, you know. <laughs> Me neither. I'm so sorry. For what? You haven't seen it? See what? Oh no. Sorry for what? Haven't you seen it? Seen what? Okay. She could definitely be Kate's mom. Do we have a picture of the last horror? I don't think so. Yeah, we do. That was the last one? Uh -huh. Come on, Barb, we've got to go. Come on. Shirt's getting a little tight, huh, honey? Okay, very good. Right. Can you do an American accent? Oh, try hard. <laughs> <laughs> I always think I'm doing American and oh, hanging around too many Australians again. <laughs> mm, that shirt's a little tight. Come on, come on, let's go. Door, 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 door. We're running late. Woo -woo. Bye, sweetie. Have a great day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just look around the world. How can there be a God with all the pain and suffering? Have a great, great day. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, man. That's great. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I can't wait to put this up. I'll put it up tonight. Should we really do this? I mean, it's pretty harsh, isn't it? What's harsh is looking at her every day. Trust me, it's gonna be funny. Yes. <laughs> All right. That was very nice. <laughs> she really is disgusting. I know. Gross. This is gonna be even better now. Check it out. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I cannot wait to put this up. I'll do it tonight. Get lost, blimp. Are you deaf? I need my luck. Get him already. Just make sure you don't touch me. Gross. You're so pathetic. Why don't you pray to your God to make you less disgusting? Are you gonna cry?
Get lost, Blimp. <laughs> Are you deaf? I, <clears throat> I need my book. Get them already. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when I first heard that they had 168 hours to do it and, you know, I just thought, how are we going to do it? How is it going to get done? But as soon as I met everyone and I talked to April and we got to see, like, how far along they were in terms of developing it, that they were going to knock out the script, which hadn't been done yet when I talked to her, you know, when things start moving and you start getting people to talk and you start making the decisions and everything just seems to come together. Pre-production was stressful, production was stressful, post-production was stressful. The whole thing was stressful. Um, in pre-production, I was I found myself wearing the producer hat and not being able to switch over um, to the directing aspect that I needed to focus on because I was still handling camera and gear and grip equipment. Um, during production, we had only six hours at our school location, so you know we had a lot to shoot in six hours and trying to get all that done, um, especially when we had a hiccup on one scene and also when our DP didn't get the right call time. <laughs> and then in post, um, when my editor proposed a rewrite at 10 p.m. Picture is locked. We have sent the short already to the composer. He's already writing the music. The, the strings are slightly bottom heavy still, you know, low in deep. So I'm, I'm gonna fix that. Clean to confess everything and to ask Barbara's family for forgiveness. So I contact April a little bit nervous <laughs> and I say hey um, just listen to this point see what you think and then uh, she likes the idea too she thinks it's definitely make the story stronger and then we go there then after that and make those changes a little bit stressful for a moment uh, but it, I, I think now that I look back is I'm so glad that we did it I'm so glad that we took the chance and we did it and we put the extra hours and the extra effort and did all that and because it's looking awesome so it was worth it to go through it. So, <sighs> so those are the fun kind of things that we love to deal with. It's it's really cool to be able to see the words you know that that are laid down and then to actually be acting in it it's such a cool experience you know. It is exciting you you put a lot of thought in something and then you're finally on the set and you see all those people you know trying to make that vision come true and it's nice to see it come together you know and uh, that that really makes me happy and I got to see I, I feel I'm doing the right thing you know in my life yeah afraid of being bullied that I became a bully myself. All this time, I thought I was the strong one. I love filmmaking. So the entire process is gratifying to me, even when it's stressful, because um, like that rewrite after picture was locked, I, it's so rewarding that uh, I think the change was worth it. From Thursday morning, he was nonstop until now basically just editing getting up early going to bed one or two in the morning editing all day so yeah it's been intense week and um, but uh, I mean I enjoy the whole process a lot so it, it's been a lot of fun uh, feel rewarded uh, just by doing it and being a part of the project getting ready for this character was a little tough I had a, a short period of time but as soon as I read the script I knew you know what I needed to do and, and, and what parts I really needed to focus on and to to really feel what she was going through. April the director is amazing and caring and, and really um, lets you, you know, figure things out.
So the piano comes in on its own merit here. <laughs> and everyone else is, is very is very just helpful and it's comforting and it's like we're a family. We've only shot for two days, but you know it's so it's always so hard to say goodbye. One of the most amazing things that I found on this shoot is that everyone here did not know each other before coming onto set. And so meeting people for the very first time, but being able to trust them and to know what they're doing, like it worked very, very seamlessly in terms of everyone's everyone's role and and how to how to really get the picture done and tell the story that they want to tell. The story is just so fabulous and so so empowering and uplifting, and um, I'm just really happy to be a part of something very positive. Um, Wednesday, May 8th, this was like four days before verse assignment. Um, I went to my doctor for my regular prenatal. I was 20 weeks pregnant. I went to my doctor and she couldn't find a heartbeat. And I immediately started crying. I know what that meant we confirmed it with an ultrasound and I had a miscarriage. <sighs> so obviously, um, obviously we were devastated. And um, I asked my doctor if I was gonna be able to shoot a short film in a week. <laughs> and she said, well, physically, yes, you'll be fine. Mentally, this may actually be a really good distraction for you, she said. And she was very, very right um, because the film kept me, kept my mind very occupied. Um, there was never a question for me if I would direct, if I would go ahead and direct the film. There was no, there, there was no not doing it. Um, I knew that I had enrolled all these people onto the team and that a lot of people were counting on me. And so the only answer was to, um, to get through it. And fortunately, we have a really strong support system and a lot of people were praying for us, um, including 168, I let them know about it. I feel like all the, all, the, all the people that were praying for us, you know, I want to thank them. And, and I feel like, like, I, like I, I healed, I'm not completely healed, but I feel like I was given the peace in my heart to get through the production week and to accomplish the job that needed to be done.